the storm reads and today I'm going to be doing another book haul um, you might remember a while back I said I had like a whole bunch of romance books that I'd gotten from this um, lady who a friend of hers had passed away and she had a whole bunch of books and she wanted to get rid of them and um, so I told her I would take them I, I do like a, a romance now and then and um, looking at these, they're uh, kind of more like a, a little bit of a nostalgia feel. I used to read uh, romances back in the day. They like look a lot familiar from like the things that I used to read. My mom used to read a lot of romances and everything, so it just it gives me kind of the feels. And I think that's mainly the reason why I'm going to keep some of these. But I did go through them. And I weeded out like the ones that I didn't really want and to be honest those are probably mostly the contemporary ones that I'm just not big into I'm more of a historical romance reader I do read contemporary you know at times um, mostly I like like the Harlequin intrigue or um, uh, just uh, cowboy romances and, and things like that that are contemporary but other than that I really prefer like a Regency type uh, historical though there are some historical books in here that aren't Regency that I'm kind of curious about I have not read a lot of like Civil War uh, or um, medieval or things like that but there are a few like that and um, hopefully I can get this book all done before it starts thundering and raining so we don't have that noise but it's kind of looking a little drab outside and I tell you what, for May, it is freezing here in Missouri. I'm wanting my, like, 70-degree weather back, and, it's, like, the high today is only, like, 59, and I'm a little chilly. Anyway, enough of that. We'll just get into the books. I kind of tried to put them in, like, a bit of a publication order, at least by decades or whatever, and except for the first one, the first one... Uh, I put it up here because it was originally, it originally came out in 1955, but it was pub, uh, published in 1981, I think, but I just went ahead and put it at the top, and that's a, Georgi a Georgietta Hayer uh, bath tangle, and if you know how to get these stickers off without ruining the book, can you please put that in the comment, because a lot of these have, like, stickers and things on it, and it drives me crazy. But anyway, yeah, got this one. I'm not going to say really anything about what they're about because then I, this video would be like super long and I don't want that. So I'm just going to show them to you. And so there's that. And this one's from uh, the 1970s. I can't remember exactly when, but it is called uh, Maria by Eugenia Price. And I believe it's the first book in like a trilogy. And I thought for um, a book that was published in the 70s that... It's in really, really pretty good condition and everything. I'm not real sure about this one because um, it doesn't really sound like totally up my alley. But I did, because it was in such good condition, I decided to keep it, <laughs> I guess. And so if anybody's read any of these, please let me know which ones you think are good or bad or whatever. I'm curious. Just like I said, I don't know anything about any of these. And this one is another one that's in, like, super good condition from the 70s. It's like this one was, like, set on a shelf and never read. I looked all over it trying to find a different publishing time because I thought surely this was, like, a reprint. But I cannot find it anywhere. All of it, it says 1977, and I can't find anything else. And I also thought this was kind of cool because it has a map in it. And I've never seen a romance with a map in it before, so I thought that was kind of cool. But, but yeah, this is uh, Shana by Kathleen Wood Woodiswiss? Wood Woodiswiss? I have no idea how to say that. There you go. Then I believe these are starting in the 80s, and I've got um, Proud Passion by... Uh, Kathleen uh, Krauss. And these covers are really good. And uh, yet again, this is in fairly good condition for like an 80s novel. A lot of these are in really good condition. So whoever had these before kept them in really good condition. And here's another one by that Kathleen 
Widowis, or however you say it, is Ashes in the Wind. And this is another one from like the 80s. It's in like super good condition. I mean, there's not even a crease on here, so it's pretty good. And then I have, uh, I do not know how to say this lady's last name. Donna Komatsai? Komatsai? I don't know, but it's Above the Wind and Tide. Everything. I, I just love the old uh, style that they have on here on the covers. They beat the ones that they make nowadays. I just like these. And then here's one that's a Civil War type one, and it's Susanna by Candace F. Ransom. And I have not heard of most of these uh, authors, <laughs> so I have no clue. And then I have The Wild Southern Rose by Carolyn Bourne. See, I hate this. It's got these stupid stickers. That's the only thing that's like super annoying to me is stickers on covers. Then I have uh, When Love Awaits by Johanna Lindsay. Yeah. And then I have Judith McNaught, Something Wonderful. And I've heard of this author, but I don't think I've read her. And it looks more like a contemporary style, but when I was reading the back of it, it seemed more like a, a historical, so I'm hoping it is. Oh, it's got pictures in here. Look at that. <laughs> and that one's, I think, from the 1980s, too. Let me see. Yeah, 1988. So we're still in the 80s here. And then I have um, Teresa Scott, Apache Conquest. I remember reading a lot of these type books <laughs> back when I was like, I don't know, 17, 18 probably. And everything. This is, I'm pretty sure this one's still in the 80s. Oh wait, nope. We're to 93. So now we're in the 90s here. So we've got... Um, and Stewart to love a dark lord. And then I've got uh, Lisa Jackson Enchantress, which also to me looked kind of contemporary, but when I was reading on the back, it sounded a little bit more. Uh, yeah, oh. This one is the one that it says Medieval Wells. So, I mean, it looks contemporary, but I'm guessing it's set in medieval time. So, we'll see, I guess, if I decide to read that one. And then I've got Rebel in Silk. It's a Once Upon a Time romance by Sandra Chastin. It's a step back. So, there we go. And then I have Innocence Undone by Kate, uh, Kat Martin. Got a masquerade thing going on, looks like. And I think that's a, yeah, that's a step back one too. Got a cool picture in there. And then we got Outlaw's Kiss by Nan Ryan. <laughs> I just like that bullets and lipstick on a lacy thing there and then we got a step back here with that one and this one here is a time traveling one so it's called a matter of time by terry bisbon bisbon and um i this one it has present day scotland and then 14th century scotland so i'm guessing Somebody must go through that and time travel or something. And 
I'm not sure how I feel about time travel romances. I don't think I've really read very many, but we'll see. And then I have The Exiles by Anita Abram. And got that nice cover. And I think I'm still in the 90s here. Let me see. Oh, wait, nope. Now we're in the 2000s. I only have a few from, like, the 2000s, I think. And I've got Rosemary Rogers and Honorable Man. Pretty cover. I like the painted look of the covers from back then. And then this one is a, a bit newer one, I think. This is one of the newer ones that I have. I'm right, yeah, it's in 2009, so it's not like new, new, but out of a lot of the other ones, it's like the newer one of the newer ones. It's called Rainwater by Sandra Brown, and I don't know a lot about uh, the Dust Bowl, but this is set in like the Dust Bowl era, so I think that was around the 1930s, and so I don't know much about that. I don't think I've read any historicals really around that era so I don't know. I think I got some of my books. Oh wait, I think I yeah. This one was from nineteen ninety and it kinda got messed around. Oh well. But this is uh historical Christmas stories from nineteen ninety and so it's got Nora Roberts, uh Patricia Potter and Ruth Langdon stories in here. So, let's see. And then I have some that I think are maybe not necessarily uh, not necessarily historical romances but um, maybe they could be. I'm not sure. They're just kind of hanging out here with with the historicals. They're the big thick ones so I put all the big thick books together because I have a bunch of like little ones but this one is Storm Spell by Faye uh, is it Simmers or Summers sorry even though I got glasses on I still can't see half the time <laughs> anyway there's that and there's another uh, Judith McNaught it's called Until You that's kind of got a pretty cover And we've got Wild Texas Lovin' by Catherine Kriegel. That The way that font is on here, it's hard for me to read. I hate admitting that I'm getting older and I can't see very well. <laughs> and then I've got Storm Spell by Ann Mathers. And like I said, if anybody's read any of these, like... Let me know what you think about them, or if there's one in here you think I should read. And then we got the Texas, the Texas Lady by uh, Lauren Wilde. Calypso Magic by Catherine Coulter. It's kind of an island romance. Then I've got um, a Janet Daly collection. It's a collector's edition. And it's got, it's from the 80s, I believe. But it has two of her books from the 1970s. Riley's Woman and To Tell the Truth. And I have read some of Janet Daly's novels. So she's like been writing books from like the 1970s and she's still writing books because I always see a bunch of Janet Daly books running around so that's pretty cool then I have a uh, secret touch by Jean Inez or something like that and then here is a book with four stories in it and it's called Marriage by Design, and so it's got uh, books by 
Kathy Gillen Thatcher, Jasmine Cresswell, Glenda Sanders, and Margaret Chittenden. Chittenden. I think that's how you say that anyway. There you go. And then I had one paranormal romance in the whole shebang here, and it's five love stories to enchant you. Midnight Lovers, and it's got Mary Belog, Belog, Joe Beverly, Anita Mills, and Patricia Rice, and Mara Sager, I think is what it is. Put it, they're really close so you can see them because I'm probably butchered the names. And it says, this mesmerizing collection of supernatural love stories. So, my only paranormal one. So this next group of books that I have are like the smaller romances that are like um, a lot of Harlequin intrigue and suspense and historical type things like that. Silhouettes and stuff. And so, this one I have is An English Alliance by Don Lindsay. See, like I said, they're like the thinner ones. An Immodest Proposal by Patricia Oliver. See, it's a Signet Regency romance is what those are. Then I have Once an Outlaw by Teresa Michael. And this is a love-inspired historical, and it's a Wilderness Courtship by Valerie Hansen. Then I've got The Captain's Courtship by Regina Scott. And Wooing the School Marm by Dorothy Clark. I hate to have been called a school marm back then, you know. It just doesn't sound nice. <laughs> and then the rest of these are, I think, contemporary, but they're like the intriguing things. This is a Silhouette Special Edition, and it's by Christine Flynn. And it's called Renegade. And this is from 1989. So I do have some older ones there. And put these all together. These are from the 90s, but I've got, they're called Safe Haven Books, and it's um, A Secret and a Bridal Pledge by Andrea Edwards. They've got this kind of funky colored covers. Got two with the blue on here. Winter's Edge by Ann Stewart. Wed to a Stranger by Julie McBride. And then, I think this is one of my oldest uh, of the these smaller ones that I have. Yeah. This one's from 1987, so it's a little bit older than the other 80s one. And uh, Operation Snare by Eve Gladstone. And, I don't know, it's in really good condition. For as old as it is. Just got one little crease down here. Then I have an Intimate Moments silhouette. It's a uh, Hero in Hiding by K. David. And this sounds like he's a bit of a rebel of some sort. So I was kind of curious. And then I'm keeping this one because I don't know what else to do with it because it has the back torn off of it. But it's called um, The Ma Marriage Protection Program by Margaret Watson. And it's an Intimate Moments silhouette. And I don't know, it said The Marriage Protection Program, so it might be interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I know nothing about any of these books, so... Here's a Harlequin Intrigue. The Strong Silent Type by Jewel McBride. I used to have, like, oh, years and years ago, 
I had a whole bunch of um, intrigue and the suspense and the paranormals and all that stuff. We had a tornado in 2008 and it ruined all that. So I used to have like a whole bunch of these. So these covers kind of bring back a bit of memory. This is a Harlequin Intrigue. It's a would-be wife by Cassie Blake. And I've got uh, The Bride and the Mercenary by Harper Allen. And then I have another Cassie Blake novel called Borrowed Identity. And I think this one was actually signed to somebody. <laughs> so I don't know if it's the uh, lady that had these books or, or what but that's kind of cool and then this one is a love inspired suspense and it's the bayou corruption by robin carroll and i used to have this one I, it's one of the things i do remember this is number two in the bayou series and i, I remember having this the cover the name and then i have a Plain Secrets by Kit Wilkinson. It's a love-inspired suspense. Gotta be about Amish, you can see there. <laughs> and then here's one. It's a cowboy romance. It's a rancher's refuge by Linda Goodnight. And it's a uh, in love-inspired, just a regular contemporary cowboy one. And here's some fairly new ones. These all, those last four that I have came out in 2017, so they're fairly new. And I do think they're all in large print. Yeah, they're all in large print, so this might be good for me because my eyes are going kind of bad and I need some bigger, bigger writing. And this is Buried Memories by Carol J. Post. And it's a love-inspired suspense. And then I have The Undercover Protector by Elizabeth Goddard. And it looks like it's from a series called Wilderness Inc. So yeah, these are in pretty good condition since they are fairly new. And I got Big Sky Showdown by Sharon Dunn. And last but not least is Dead Run by Jody Bailey. So, that's a lot of romance for a person who doesn't read a lot of romance nowadays. But, I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued by some of these. And my taste in books kind of run around a lot and... Every now and then I get tired of reading mysteries and I throw in some romances. So, you never know, I might get to some of these soon. Um, like I said, uh, if you've read any of these, please comment down below so that I know which ones I should read. If there are some that are like really bad and I just should give away without reading, you can let me know that too because I do have a pile that I'm going to be taking to the used bookstore soon. So, yeah, any other ones that I can just throw into that pile is fine with me because I don't know anything about any of these books so we'll see anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all next time bye